Hello, this is Camper Casey at Johnson RV, America's number one premium pre-owned RV dealership located in Fife, Washington. What we're looking at here today is a 2010 Tiffin Allegro 34 TGA. A few things you may notice right up front here is that beautiful paint. Now this is a full body paint. Looks absolutely gorgeous in the sun, shadow, it doesn't matter. It looks fantastic. A couple other things I wanted to point out right over here is first off, not only is it a gas, but it is the V10 Ford, okay? You do have side mounted cameras on this. One on either side, driver's side and passenger side. As soon as you turn on the blinker, you can actually see all the way down the whole entire side. Very nice and great safety feature. Also, this has a door on this side. It's not too often you find them with doors anymore. I actually kind of like it. If I have to go in and out of this thing quickly, I can actually do that with the nice stair treads right there. This particular unit does have a few slides on it. This is just one of them. This is the largest out of them. I wanted to open a few of these baggage doors just to show off this, that they open sideways. It's a nice way of opening. You have a nice gas strut there. Uh, you tend never to have an issue of uh, the slide catching it with uh, an opening up motion. So very nice feature to have. All right, if we keep on going this way, I wanted to show off the generator that it does have. This is gonna be a 5,500 watt uh, Onan Cummins. More than enough power to run two ACs at the same time in case you're at a place that's really, really hot. All right, this does have a 50 amp cord. Once again, enough to run two ACs at the same time. Just showing off all the space that you do have. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to point out back here is your gas fill is back here in the back, making it easy just in case you have to pull on one side or another when you get to the gas station, it'll actually uh, pull to it very easily. Uh, this does have a full uh, walkable roof and a ladder to get all the way up there. Uh, another thing you can probably see up top there, that is your backup camera. You got two other slides on this side. One's in the back for the bedroom, um, and the other one is in the um, living room area. A couple other things I want to point out over here. Uh, we got yourself 110 power out. Right here is the furnace, and this is an access panel for service for the back of the refrigerator. If we continue going on back this way, we're gonna show off couple other little features here. If you pan up, you can kind of see that you got an, a slide topper on this slide and all three slides have slide toppers. Also, there's gonna be an electronic awning up top there. Push button, easy. Once we get inside uh, the Tiffin here, a couple things I wanted to show off here. Uh, both chairs, uh, captain's chairs, they do turn all the way around. So you can actually have more people in here and facing the right way. Uh, so you can have a nice conversation. A couple other things I want to show off at the dash. You do have a auto leveling system. Push a button, it levels itself. Uh, also, you, might, you may be hearing the generator is actually running in this because um, we are quote unquote boondocking right here. A um, few other little things I wanted to point out. Uh, you do have some shades uh, up front. In the, in the front window. Those are electric. You got uh, electric day and electric night shades. Uh, the other shades that are on the side, drivers and passenger, uh, they are not electric. They actually um, are done by string. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to show off is the nice cabinetry. Uh, Tiffin is always known for their cabinetry and attention to detail. Okay. Next, I wanted to show off this is the second area for sleeping. So this will sleep up to four people. Uh, it's gonna be a room enough, it's about a queen size, big enough for two people. Next is the table and chairs. Got two uh, chairs at the moment, can have enough room for two more. Uh, TV, 
What's nice is when those chairs, uh, the captain's chairs turn around, you actually can view the TV from all angles. Next got in the kitchen, freezer. Looks like it has an ice maker, which is rather rare. Most of these don't, don't have them with a single door, but good amount of space there. Uh, you got yourself, it looks like probably a 3070 sink, not a 6040, um, but definitely big enough that uh, you can get the pans in there. I do like this size a little bit bigger for that reason, so you can wash them. All right, so you got yourself a three burner stove right here and an oven. And it looks like a convection. So kind of a rare find here, having a convection and an oven. Really nice uh, to have both. Uh, just showing off a little bit more of all the cabinets and drawers. Um, you also can probably notice is a European style uh, chair. What's nice is it does have recliner portion right here. All right, we're in the bathroom now. I wanted to show off some of the features that, that you have in here. Uh, you got the shower right here. It's a nice neo-angle shower. You have a place to put your, your foot or you can actually sit there if you have to take a rest. Okay, when you actually close this, you got yourself the sink and medicine cabinet. You do have a couple lights that you can turn on. And if we turn all the way around, this would be where the commode is. And what's nice is you actually have another sink. So it's almost like having a bath and a half or at least a separation, being that you do have the two sinks so close to each other. Okay, walk just a few steps and we're in the bedroom. Okay, this is a queen size bed. This has a slide on this um, where the bed is. So you have access to underneath. Got a lot of space to put all kinds of stuff. Another thing I noticed that I didn't even mention is this does actually have a uh, vacuum system. Here's the hose. When we actually walk out of here, I'll show you where that connection is as well. Uh, if we pan on the other side here, you can see this is where the wardrobe is. Um, there's actually quite a bit of space in this, if you're able to see that. And it goes all the way through. So you can actually hang quite a bit of stuff in here. And then uh, what's behind me? Nice mirror. So you can actually see what you're doing. All right, I wanted to mention the vacuum cleaner. It's real easy, that simple. You have the hoses underneath the, the bed. Um, if you have any other questions about this particular unit, once again, my name is Casey. This is at Johnson RV in Fife. Phone number here is 253-286-0833.